So I'm Frank Reismerman. I now work for the Gates Foundation, where I'm the director of water, sanitation and hygiene. But I actually used to work at IHE as well, you may not know that. I was a lecturer here in the uh, 80s and I've been a professor here as well mm. uh, in the Water Resources Group, even though my chair was actually in Coastal Zone Management. Okay, wow. And what is the reason of your visit to UNESCO IHE today? Today I am visiting uh, Damir. Of course, we had a little chat with Andras and Job just as well, just to say hello. But we are celebrating the happy news that uh, we set up a project uh, on, if you like, expanding the education of sanitary engineering here, particularly to uh, serve the poorer parts of cities with sanitation that works for them. A large project which will uh, provide a lot of MC students and PhD students on sanitary engineering for UNESCO IHE, but also for a group of partners in Africa and in Asia. And why uh, did the Foundation uh, think about investing in this particular project? Well, our program is on water, sanitation and hygiene, but we see that many people then really focus on water, mm -hmm. and sanitation is often the sort of the small somewhat neglected part, uh, so because actually of all the Millennium Development Goals, the one on sanitation is uh, the most out of line, the least achieved if you like, uh, mm. you know, 2.6 billion people not having access to improved sanitation. Mm. We have decided to focus most of our program, like 90% of our program, on sanitation. So we are looking for a lot of partners who will help us reinvent the toilet. Or maybe we should say we are looking for partners that we can help reinvent the toilet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to UNESCO IHE, we're particularly looking to help educate, train uh, a whole generation of sanitary engineers that will uh, be a critical part of that. So can you also elaborate a little bit more about what you hope to achieve in the coming years? Yes, well, through UNESCO IHE we hope to see dozens, we can even mm -hmm. say 60, 70, 80 new sanitary engineers who will think not just about sewers and wastewater treatment plants, of course they have to be competent there as well, but will also think about sanitation that works for the poor, which in most cases will have to be on-site sanitation. Mm -hmm. But then not just latrines and septic tanks that don't work, as we often see them now, but that means that actually people want to use, mm -hmm. that are safe, that actually reuse waste, generate energy, maybe even clean water, fertilizer. So yes, we're looking to a whole generation of young professionals working in this field. That's a key role for UNESCO IHE. And the research that they do and many of the partners that we fund, yeah, we expect those people to reinvent the toilet. Okay, thank you so much.